And welcome back to Music Free Gaming here on YouTube. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. It is a fun and beautiful day here, and I hope you are fun and beautiful too. Hey, um, it, I know you are, so we don't have to worry about that. It's 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 all good. I uh, anyway, it's Tuesday. I'm gonna be playing some hardcore Minecraft and um couple of programming notes. Um there will be no Streams are going to be a little sparse the next couple of weeks. Um, so just a heads up on that. But uh, yeah, so. But there, there will be a stream Thursday. will be a stream probably on Tuesday next. So, And uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to do a Saturday stream or not. So join the Discord. Watch that announcements channel. And uh, yeah, things all things will happen. In any case, let's go ahead and get into the game. That would be this button. All righty then. Here be we. All right. Um, yeah, so as usual, I'm going to, I'll record an intro for uh, the video and then we'll get into all of the building stuffs and things. Right, because who doesn't like stuffs and things? I like stuffs and things. All right. And welcome back to Going Hard here on Music Free Gaming. It is great to have you here, and I'm still alive. Yes, that's and that's an awesome thing. I like being alive, which is important because in hardcore, when you're dead, the world ends. Ah, <sighs> but my big concern is. I've been a caveman long enough. I think it's time for me to stop being a caveman and maybe actually build that house on the hill I've always wanted. So let's get started. Ah, yes. The, the caveman house on the hill. Let's, oh, I should also mention this. I should also mention here in my inventory, I have 20 slime balls. That's right. Plus the one left over from the, the wandering trader the other day. Because it turns out my slime farm does actually work. It's just really, really, really slow. So <laughs> I, I, lots of things need to happen to make it more efficient. But ultimately, the farm works. So that's a thing. And I definitely have enough slime now to do the uh, redstone stuff I need to do up here. Um, to, uh, I can't climb the hill <laughs> to, uh, to get the redstone stuff done that I need to do to maybe make my mob farm a little bit more efficient. Ah, yes. It's a thing. All right. So I've got a bed over there. Cool. So let's see now. I didn't need to bring this redstone stuff with me, but I did. That's okay. Um, there is a hopper clock in my future, and it's definitely going to be happening down here. I'm hoping, because the way some of the stuff is here, I might be able to uh, catch some of the spiders and just flush them down, and everything will be awesome. But ah, we shall see. Anyway. So I'm up here at the top of the mountain. There's my nether portal to the roof, my mob farm. Well, mob farm's on the other side of the hill. This is a villager breeder, which is like a mob farm in that you can farm a mob full of villagers. But right here, this area all here, and I marked it out on stream a week or so back. So if you haven't been catching the live streams, uh, that was a perfect time. But I've marked out this area coming back through this way. It may be around that part of the hill as well to be the location for my new house. Now, as I said, I'm tired of living in a cave. And what I'm hoping is that this house is uh, going to be a good, maybe not a permanent home, but it's going to have, I think, my first real organized storage, though not auto-sorted. 
and I hope will be a nice sort of place to base out of until I start getting more uh, more of the fun late game stuff. The problem is there's a little bit of a hill in the way, so let's uh, take out this hill and then see what we've got to work with. Oh, right. Yes. Diggy diggy. Bye. I'm sure that was a nice cow, but it doesn't, doesn't need to be up here in the mountains. Because mountain cows are, are wonderful and stuff. <clears throat> but uh, no, not, not what I'm looking for today. Oh, man. It was a... It was a fun day at work. We had our, every year, usually before the beginning of the uh, fall semester, we have an office cleanup day. Part of it is to clean up the office so it's looking a little bit better for students when they come by, you know, if, if and when they have problems. And part of it is we just need to clean up the office once in a while. So we have a day where we just... To the greatest extent possible, we sort of cancel the meetings. We uh, and we just kind of focus on at least for the first part of the day getting the office t cleaned up. Right? Cool. Well, as to go with that, we also tend to have a okay barbecue is not quite the right word, but yeah, you know, throw some burgers and hot dogs on the grill and do potluck stuff and that was great but I ate way too many hamburgers they were delicious and uh, I can barely move so we'll see how how far I can make it through the stream before I just keel over from uh, calorie fatigue somehow I think I'll survive but It's going to be a thing. Also that, speaking of things. Uh, the problem I've got right now is because my mob farm doesn't work real well, I don't have a good source of XP. So I think sometime in the near future, I'm going to have to build probably a gold farm in the nether. Because so, I've that goes up to the nether roof. And my... And that portal's in a um, nether waste, which is the perfect location for a gold farm. So I might set something like that up. Now there are a couple of a couple of builds that I've I've built in the past. Um, one of which is by Raiseworks, which uses an iron golem to. Uh, bring the to try to pull in the, uh, the the zombie piglins you can use a turtle egg too I think it actually does both but the way it works is because it is the um, uh, the iron golem do I have stuff for chests I do the iron golem will, tends to hit the the piglins and so what you end up doing, that's not the thing. Uh, what you end up doing is getting XP from it. Because the golem hits the um, hits the zombie piglins as they fall. And then you get uh, all the happy, happy uh, XP. Because then that counts as a mob death or a, a player kill because a player created golem uh, ended up being the cause of death of the zombie piglins and I I built it in what world did I build that in I can't remember if I built it in going solo solo or I, I don't think I built that one in solo too I think I just built that in solo and 
yeah, I there were a couple of times I AFK'd at night. Yeah, like I, I just AFK'd, went to bed, came back, and I had something like 500 levels. <laughs> I'm not sure. That got nerfed a little bit because of the way that uh, zombie piglins now, when they spawn in, don't spawn in angry. If there are other zombie piglins aggroed. But that's uh that may not be that big a deal because they'll still see the golem and want to attack it. So that's a definite po definite definite possibility. See, I have words and I can use them. Now the other one is, is your basic farm where they drop down, you throw a switch and they land on a block, and you slay them yourself, and then the other, and then you hit, and they drop down the one extra block, and that kills them. Well, you slay them yourself, you can then use looting, and get uh, all the looting benefits, so you get, plus it's, it's a real player kill and not a golem kill, so you can also get, uh, the occasional gold bar, I think, not just uh, gold uh, gold ingots. All right. So looking at this, I was looking coming out this way. I think this is going to be a little bit too small. So I'm going to go ahead and come over this way. Did I designate a side over here? I didn't. Okay. So I think what I'll do, I did designate side over there. So cool. All right. So let's go ahead and take the top off this hill too. It was sort of a nice, nice feature up here, but I, I want to, Build the house, you know, over on that side. Oops. Over on that side over there. It's got a nice view of the valley on. Here, let me free cam up. It's got a great view of the valley over here. But then on this side. Ow. Um, it actually has a really nice view of what's going on back over here. Which uh, I'm not entirely sure... What I'm going to do over on that side, I'm kind of thinking what I might do is turn that side of things. So over there is the, the village. I might turn that side of things into maybe in the industrial area. And this side over here into the pretty stuff. Something something like that might might work. I don't know for sure, but... Definite, definite possibilities. Okay, so we dig and dig and dig and dig. I could take that down too, but I think for the moment we're okay. Part of me is thinking, you know what? Maybe I should pick up this dirt and save it. Not that I have a huge need for dirt right now. But I may want to do mud bricks at some point. And at that point, having some dirt stashed would be really helpful. All right. So we'll just finish... Uh, Getting all this stuff in place. Oh, so much diggy diggy. Let's see what other fun things are going on. Not a whole lot. Finally saw the new Super Mario Brothers movie. That was cool. I was debating whether or not I wanted to do a um, really late movie review of that one. I still might, but the TLDR is, it was fun. Nothing special, but 
the, uh, for people who just get all giddy because they see something and they recognize, which in a lot of cases is me, um, then, uh, yeah, it's all sorts of excitement. You know, I thought it was fine. It was, oh, look, here's baby Luigi. And, yep, it looks just like baby Luigi from uh, Mario Kart and all the other things. So, you know, that's fun. Yeah. All the cats in the creeper farm. Okay, dokey. Not too much else to dig out here, I think, but. Of course, I also have to then get through here and light it up. Do I have, I have sticks? Yeah, I've got torch material, so. We're all good. Let's at least take this. We'll go this way. Okay. All right. And we're going to about there. So this is going to be a little bit of a weird shaped building, which I'm okay with. Just need to figure some of the, uh, some of the spacing out. And also figure out storage and some other things. Because that's, again, that's a lot of the point of this new new house is the storage room. All right, I've got a little bit of disorganized storage down in the cave, but I want to get out of the cave. I mean, the whole point of building here and not in the village was that I really liked this valley. So, I want to build up here and see the valley, and I want to have a nice mountaintop house. It's, that seems like a fun thing to do. I love the mountains in real life, and, you know, it's one of the reasons, actually, Minecraft, like, taiga biomes and stuff are some of my favorite, because they're very mountainous. All right, so cool. So we've got plenty of that. I don't need the seeds. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at the shape here. Um, yeah, because there's that hill, which I could carve back or I could even potentially incorporate it into the design. Or I could build up a second floor that steps out here, which it would be really cool. And then I kind of like the idea of leaving this section of uh, mountaintop is, and just making that, like, the house is built up against it would be cool. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think this is going to work out fine. So I've cleared out some space here. I think this is going to be big enough. Now, the advantage of having part of the house out over this way, even though I have no idea what I'm going to do with that drop, um, is that uh, this is roughly over the slime farm. I think the slime farm's actually out maybe towards that water there a little bit. But that's great because now I'm I'm closer to the farm and it's going to maybe produce a little bit more slime while I'm over here. Which I think is one of the reasons it wasn't doing anything as I was too far away. So since since I have this now dug out, I think it's time to start getting a frame in place. Alright, so let's frame it. I'm gonna frame this guy out in spruce wood because I like spruce. So I think what I'll do is we'll bring this up this way. Now, and yeah, if I run this right up here, let's do this. 
we'll come out to here. Um, let's grab a few torches and let's be sure everything up here is well enough lit. Just to, should be, but you know, just enough to keep the monsters at bay, right? Okay, and I think... I think, yeah, I want to come out like this. And this is going to slide over this way a bit. It might actually drop right in here. So I think I'll end up taking out this little section of wall here for a little bit more, but we'll kind of we'll kind of see here as this progresses. All right, that'll go that way. This will come out here, and I think I'll wiggle waggle my way through this. Okay, wiggle waggle's a good term. Okay, sort of bring that this way. Now again, this. It's going to be a little bit of a fun thing, um, which, again, I don't know how I'm going to make that work, but I'll figure out something. I suppose I can take out this. Um, let's bring it this way, just so that I've got a little bit of, a bit more idea of the shape. I was originally thinking this was going to be two buildings, but I think it might be, I think I'm going to take it as one building with a couple of big rooms. Okay. Something, something fun like that. All right. So now if this is going to come this way, right. See if it comes this way. I sort of running this. This area gets really narrow. Okay, it's not too bad, but I kind of like. See, I have a couple of chests on me here. What if if I put chests here, right? Something like that, and then put a wall here because I, I sort of want to do the reason I put these on the corners is I kind of want to have the the outer frame and the wall inset a little bit I think that's going to look really cool and same thing here the wall I think is going to follow the line of the it's uh, these cherry slabs and so if I run storage all this way, hmm, right, and make this area the storage room. Over here can be whatever else I want it to be. But I kind of, kind of like this idea because that'll come out this way. I'll run this wall here. I think what I might do is just start building this a little bit and then I kind of like the idea of maybe building out a porch, right? This would come out, it would actually overhang the, this cliff wall a little bit and I guess cliff is reasonable. It's a really steep hill anyway. But if I were to overhang that, I could leave it open. So if and when I get Elytra, I could fly in up here. And that would just be a really convenient spot. And I could fly in up here from, from the portal. Okay, that's definitely a thing. Things are happening. I like when things happen. All right, now, I don't know what I want the walls to be. That's that's another issue, but. I 
think what I want to do is maybe I'll I'll use let's go get that stone cutter that's over here. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll uh and let's we'll steal a crafting table too. There's a bunch of stuff in here too that will be really useful. In fact, some of those walls might be useful too. So let's bring all this over here. The fact that it's sitting right where it is could in fact be a problem in and of itself, but... <clears throat> all right. Oh. Since I'm over here, let's just bring this bed too. Because, you know, night's going to come and I'm going to want to sleep. All right, so let's grab... Grab some of this. I want to take a mixture of stone brick and some stone and use that for the wall. Okay. And I think what I want to do this side is going to be some big windows and stuff, but I'm going to, again, I, I want to be able to look out and see things over there. So, well, I might even be able to dig some storage into that wall that dirt but it'll be hidden because it's buried in the wall that's that's definitely an idea now i don't know what i'm going to do with the floor here but let's let's just start with the stone brick it's good. in some ways that's a it's going to be really basic but stone brick is good so it's a, a and one of the reasons it's basic is stone brick is a really good block. It's really nice, so. Yeah. <sighs> so much rain. All right, and let's run this this way. Again, what I'm doing here is just marking out where this building is going to go. And get, you know, get, let's get this, the bones in place and then I can fill in with uh, a little more decor and things like that. Also, those chests may move, but having them there, at least for the moment, isn't bad. All right, we'll take that out, and let's run this this way. Oh, no. I mean, that's fine, but no. Okay, so this will come up here like this, and... Cool. Now, I think what I want to do... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve... 13, 14. Okay, it's even. Cool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yep, it is definitely even. Ah, somewhere out there, Satan Sprite is cringing. All right. Two. However, I think maybe what I'll do is the center of the portal. It's right here. So let's center the door such as we can um, right on that. Now, again, the build is even. I could change that because I could actually square it off because that's 14, 15, 16, it's still even coming out to here. but. I could move this one block. That might be okay. Still gives some interesting, uh, maybe some interesting room dynamics on the inside over here. Okay, well, let's give that a shot then. Okay, so we'll move that that way. All right, so. Where I said this was 
going back? Well, it is. Now again, on the inside of this, I could absolutely do some other things with it, but Alright, so we'll go ahead and take this out. Um, but yeah, I, I could. As I said, turn this into a little bit of storage. Just buried inside this little bit of hill here. Okay, let's go do that. Alright, now... So that could come that way. Still would connect over there. All right, and then this area here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is even. Uh, but I don't think it's gonna be a it's gonna be too bad, so. I'm going to go ahead and just frame this out, but I expect I'm going to end up removing some of it. All right. Just because I want to, I want, I actually want to see it. I want to see what this looks like. And, ooh, I could. I could put an angle here, too. That would be, that could be kind of cool, especially... All right, actually, let's do it this way. Okay. Here, it will go. It's going to go like that and like that. All right. Yeah, I know how to make diagonals. Sure I do. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I could do something like that. It still sticks out over the cliff face here just a touch now I can't get up but I think it's gonna give a nice nice little bit of something especially if I run yeah let's take some let's take some logs and maybe come up right here like this Okay, I'm not going to say that's totally uh, where it needs to be, but just a quick eyeball on it, I think it's going to work out just fine. If I, if I build the wall here, and I said build a patio out, even though the patio might even be squared off a little bit, but some sort of opening here for the eventual elytra entrance. Because as much as I would like to think that I'd have a nice automated storage room before I had an Elytra, that's not going to be the case. I know that. I know that well. Of course, there's always the question whether or not I will live long enough to get an Elytra, because I've got to survive a dragon fight first. That's... Yeah, going to be its own special breed of fun right there. Now, I'm probably going to end up tearing all of that out to put in the floor, but... Okay, I kind of like this. So, that's going back that way. I said I, I can open this up. I, I do kind of think maybe it would be cool to have a walkway here because I do want to set up a honey farm and probably a cooked chicken machine over here. Okay. I've got a few chickens dutifully laying eggs for me, so that would, that'll that be great to get that started. So chicken's not as good as steak as far as a food source, but it's uh, completely automatable, which is nice. That is very nice. So, 
Let's see now. Let's see, let's see. How do I want to handle this? Yeah, so if I run storage, do I have... I have a few more things. Let's craft up a few more chests and figure out where this is going to go. But I kind of like this... Uh, so I kind of like this layout. Bring a bring some of the spruce inside. It'll be good. But all right, that and chests. All right. Now that wasn't a lot of chests, but that's okay. It should be plenty to uh, be getting on with. All right. Right, okay. Sec I just need to check something. Okay, everything's looking good so far. Okay. Didn't do something silly. Wouldn't be the first time. Okay, no, we're good. Okay, oh, it'd be nice if I can s sleep this rain away anytime now. Great. Ah, oh, but as I was thinking, um, where do I want this these chests to finish? I suppose I actually could bring them all the way out here. Right? And if I've got... Yeah, I could bring them out like that. I'll be up four or five blocks high. Yeah, where's my stake? There it is. Okay, yeah, that should be this should be pretty okay, right? Sure. Okay, good. Sun's up, rain's gone, everything's happy. All right, so if I were to do that, all right. So if I mark that off, then I can load up chests here again. I can dig through that wall if I want to. <clears throat> right so I'd have basically storage along there storage back here and then I can do whatever is is going to happen obviously I would need a bedroom um, a little crafting area you know that type of thing I've got the, it's got a smelter down you know of course down there the other thing I should probably do, maybe I'll set that up right in here, is I want an elevator, right? I need to be able to get up and down from up here down to all of my stuff down there uh, much faster than trying to make it up and down this messed up staircase. I mean, it, it goes down on top of a roof. It, it's just messy. And yes, I could change the stairs and I m might do that anyway but yeah just I, I kind of like that that idea so if I were to come here like this I do still have a sign okay the elevators are gonna go there okay that's I think that'll work and depending on how I set them up, that might work really well. I don't think a honey vader would be good. It's too easy to fall out of those, and that's painful and less fun than it sounds. So try to avoid that. Hey, Lord, welcome. How long have I been playing Minecraft? Uh, I, think I started on Bedrock at the end of 2015. Or it wasn't Bedrock, it was the PlayStation edition, but... So I've been playing for a while. It's not to say I have any sort of artistic eye for building, but, you know. Yeah, I think that'll work out nicely. Okay, yeah, and if I build up a second floor on this side, that... Uh, lays out and connects to the top of this hill. That might be good. I might not even need this door then. 
And it's just the second floor up here would be. Or maybe I make that the staircase up. That would make sense. I can have a staircase up that way. And if I just, if I'm on this side, I can come out and follow a path and stairs and stuff coming up this hill to uh, whatever is going to be over there. So the chicken, cooked chicken at Honey Farm is going to be there. I need to decide what I want to put on top of the mob farm. Because standing on here, coming in here, screws up the spawning. So, but maybe, I was thinking I might throw the uh, a wool farm in there, which would be kind of cool. So, that would be, that could be exciting. So, all right. All right, so this would give me plenty of space for storage. And this is, this will probably come out, but for now, it's, it is what it is. Um, and what it is, is just a marker to say, hey, here's where the side of the building is going to go. Okay. And something is going to have to happen here, but don't know what, but obviously the house will get built up and I may have want to fill in some space there, but. That's okay. I might, I don't know, looking at this, I might want to take it in one more block that way. Just dealing with the, the shape of this mountain and the, just as I'm taking some stuff out. I mean, I could fill in with some other stuff, terraform it a little bit, but I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. It'll be uh fun and exciting right but yeah I think this will be the be a good space here for for the storage this will come up this way and then yeah I can I can actually come this way maybe run the staircase up like this up this way into whatever the second level of this is all right I like this idea I think this is gonna be Okay, and then because that'll be over top, yeah, I could take this out and dig into the dig into the mountain or the mountain, dig into this hill for a little bit of extra storage. Or a lot of bit of extra storage. There's definitely gonna be some space there, so Alright, now yeah, that'll be That'll be excellent. Alright, nice. Now it's going to be walls of chests, but that's okay, I suppose. The other question is, then, if I'm going to do wall of chests, how far back this way do I want it to go? Right? I can bring some to there. Front door is here, so I've got plenty of space to do random bits of nothing with, I suppose. I mean, that's, that's fun and all. Okay. Yeah. And then, all right, where's my crafting table? There it is. Let's, let's get a few more chests. Since again, the, the main reason I'm building this is in fact for storage related reasons. So how tall do I want this to go? I could go up, I could go up to here, right? And give it four blocks. I mean, I, five is an odd number, but you know, is there's design reasons for doing five, right? And just come up and then depending on what I do the floor out of, I could do it, I could do it slabs which would make this make this really nice. And then it would just run, kind of run over the top. Let's see, I've got um, some cherry slabs on me here. So it's... Oh, come on. So I could do something like this, right? 
But I want the... Because I kind of think I, I want to just... I want these to be top slabs. I think I want them to be bottom slabs. Um, I don't know that they're going to be the cherry either, but it's a reasonable placeholder so I can spy this out. And yeah, that, that would be good. I mean, I could... I could throw in stairs and things just to, uh, if I want this to be solid down above the chests, but that's not too bad. And height wise, I think it comes up on top of the hill pretty well. I think that's going to be fine. So, all right. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go five blocks high for the storage and that will work. And if I do this right, I will actually put the stuff in it and sort it <laughs> so that uh, I can find things. I know. It's weird. Actually be able to find what I'm looking for in a storage room. That's just, that's just crazy talk, I tell you. All right, but I think this is going to work. Yeah, so I think this basic layout is good. I'll pretty much I'll have storage here. I'm going to run storage to the side. I'll make it five chests high. And those slabs represent the floor of a second level on top of this half of the building. I think this half will remain one floor. So it's going to be like a split level house, something like that, where so we've got two stories here, one story here. And I think that's gonna that's gonna be a fun build. All right, cool. So let's see about uh, getting some more more of the walls and stuff up. Figure out the rest of the shape of this build. All right. Well, I'd like to sleep, but that's not gonna happen. So it's fine. You know what? While I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go drop off some of this redstone that I've got. I've brought these redstone components up. They're here for... Um, they're here for use for a hopper clock that's going to go in that building. Okay. Yeah, something so that I can then flush the creepers. But that's a project for future me, so we'll... We'll worry about that later. In the meantime, um, oops, no, 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 that's not what goes there. All right, I've got a whole bunch more spruce down on the uh, area down there. So, but all this fails, I cut down more trees. So let's see, do I want to, I think I kind of do. I think I do sort of want to run some wall up this way. Of course, that was my last spruce that I brought up with me. So <laughs> that's fine. I could put it there. I could also slide it in. There's nothing st stopping me from like putting it here perhaps. Now, let's see, I'm going to have wall coming this way. This would be, this is a, one of those moments where it's an odd number on this side, an even number on this side. And I think the outside is going to win this argument here. So, cool. Let's go pick up some more spruce. Darn, that's a river, isn't it? Free cam over for a minute. Yeah, that's just seagrass. I'm going to need to get some kelp. It's hard to build a... Not impossible, but it's definitely harder to build a bubble column without kelp. We can do it. Lots of... Uh, it's lo there's lots of doable happening, but... It's, it's just... It's just harder. All right. 
I said, not impossible, but harder. And this is why I need it, because this is just painful. All right, so let's, we'll do that. Let's, um, so if that's going to go this way, let's figure out the staircase here, right? So if this is, uh, shovel, shovels are cool. I like shovels. All right. So if I come out this way with, uh, stairs coming up here. Which, uh, since I don't know what, what wood I'm going to be, or what material I'm going to be using for the stairs, I might actually just make it two blocks. All right, and then I want to come out. See, if I make that two, just mark that like that. So we'll come out this way. Might not be a bad call. I eh. see this way. This whole area lines up, which I I kind of like. <laughs> you know, it's kind of there's something about the symmetry there that I, I'm enjoying. That's not to say I couldn't push this wall back anyway. And really, rain, really. Goodbye, son. You were warm and friendly once. I hope that when you return, I will be less soggy. I'm not hopeful. All right. So, yeah, because I could... I could push this out, but I really... Because of way, where this cliff is and things like that, I don't really want to. So, all right. I, I can make that work. Yeah, I know, right? Sun's gone. Rest in peace. Ah, <sighs> so sad. Anyway, so yeah, so we'll come in this way. We'll do staircase coming up here. Just like this. And then where do I want this top, this building to stop? Oh, let's come out from there and let's, we'll come to, right, because We've got slabs, right? That's the floor. I really like the sound of the cherry wood, by the way. It's just cool. Um, and they're in the wrong place, but again, don't... I'm not worried about that. I'm just trying to get building shape. But yeah, let's just have it come out to here, right? This row right here. Right here, right here. And I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not a builder. I don't know if I, those of you out there, are, are you builders? Did you like, is is the design like your jam? All of the happy buildy stuff. It's hard for me. I have to admit. Okay. So let's take that out for a minute. Cause that's not going to be that, but. Okay, right, so we're going to bring some wall this way. All right, now here's this part where I just don't have a clue if things are going to match. Yeah, looks like we're good. Gets hard. Yeah, you know, it's just, <laughs> parkour. There we go. So that's going to go that way and then cut that out. This is going to come this way. Yeah, because some days it's like I really know what I'm doing and other times, yeah, not so much. Okay, and here, let's see here. One, two, three, four. Plus it's a couple over there. I'm going to push this out just one more block just to keep the uh, odd-numbered builders happy. For all those people who get really upset when your builds are an even number. Not that that's a bad thing. You can, 
you know, there's nothing inherently wrong with having your builds be even numbers, but it is a little bit easier to get some of the design elements that you may want to do when your building has an odd number of blocks. Okay, again, it's nothing, uh, it's not a hard and fast rule, but it does make things a little bit easier. All right, let's go ahead and just kick this one up this way. So there, there are going to be a few places here where things are just going to get awkward. And said, I, I could push that wall. I like where that wall is. Darn it. Nope, that's fine. We're going to work with the terrain. It's going to be, I mean, our build's got some funkiness to it. But, hey, we can, we can get funky. We can get down. We can get funky. And, uh, sure. Let, let's, let's, let's work the funk into the build, I suppose. Right? Sure. Okay. Cool. So that'll go up. We'll have the stairs over here that lead up into that. Um, this wall will be solid because of something there. Yeah. Yeah. Finding the right terrain. Well, I found that one of the things that I really enjoy is actually building with the terrain, right? Now, that's one of the reasons I'm building here. I love this valley, right? You get out here and you just look at this, I guess, technically not a valley, but the sort of horseshoe of, of mountains here. There's the dripstone cave there. And it just, I wanted to build up and decorate this area, right? And I said, way out, not too far out that way is this nice mountain village, which actually was kind of cool. But it's, of course, it's natural terrain. So how do you make your builds, how do you tie your builds into the terrain? And that's, that's both a challenge, um, but, or it is a challenge, but it's also kind of fun. So. All right, now this is boring, but there's nothing wrong with uh, having your buildings go through a, a boring, awkward phase, okay? Because, all right, now that's going to come out, of course, because the, the boring, awkward phases are what gets you started. All right, just like I, I started with the frame here of the house because I one I kind of need to know what the shape of the house is going to be, but uh, it, it knowing the shape, getting that all built out, really helps with the um, with some of the overall design and and decor and all of that type of stuff. So, so. Yeah, it's fun. I built, I had a build in my uh, regular vanilla world that I just, the shape of the hill was so cool, I basically co-opted it for the, the walls of a castle. So the castle's got this really organic shape to it because I just followed the hill and it's, it's kind of a cool design. All right, cool. So that's going to come over this way. Let's, I should probably do all this stuff. Okay, there's maybe some things there too, but let's uh, come back here. All right, so what is this? What's this Y level here? That is 118. Cool. So 118 is there. Now I'm not sure about some of this stuff, but this is gonna go, I think this is this way. So that may change where I put some of the, the logs and stuff. I also had a few, on a SMP I was playing on for a long time, I made a conscious decision that I wanted to have some of the build just be at angles, right? So I, 
I sat down and I built a... Oh, I, I built a... It was a square, but it was at a 45-degree angle, roughly. I think it was... So it was sort of diagonals. Um, but maybe, maybe it was even more wonky than that. And turned that into like a flower shop. And it was really cool being able to use some of the extra corners and extra spaces and things. Oh, sorry, I got to turn a fan on. It's getting a little hot over here. Um, but... So that was really cool. And then... I built a um, I built a Viking village where all of the buildings or or most of the buildings were at some sort of an angle, which was really fun to to build out. All right, so this is going to come down roughly there. That's probably not a hundred percent, but we'll go with it. Ah, nope, that's not how you go. All right. Cool. And so then what I can do is I could get some of the dirt here and I could terraform up this way. And I might do... I could also build a little, like, a patio and stuff, but this is going to be the floor... A little porch and a staircase or something off of that would be kind of cool. Especially since this hill, the way this hill is shaped. Here, let me free camp for a moment so you can see it. Right, we've got... Yeah, here we go. So we've got the house. So that'll be the honey and chicken farm over there. So whatever. So I think I'm going to put the sheep farm on top of that. But you can see how this hill just sort of slopes down this way. So, I, I think what I'll do is let's put the entrance on this side somewhere over here. One, two, three, four, five, maybe, maybe here. And again, because I'm insetting the walls, it's going to screw up some things. But, actually, maybe not. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I'm going to just mark that. I need to put a door here somewhere. I just don't know what it's going to look like, so. That'll be a, that'll be a challenge. Okay, so the floor is going to be up here. Again, I'm not, I'm probably not going to use the cherry for the, actually, that's not the floor. The floor is this way. So that's actually too high. I mean, the wall isn't, but the those blocks are too high to be the floor. Okay. I'm actually kind of thinking I might use bamboo for the floor. Okay. Because I was kind of thinking that the yellow with the bamboo might might give a nice look to this. And we'll tie in some of what I'm doing down with the, ouch, with the rest of the, with my cave. <laughs> but where the iron farm and the villager trading hall and all that stuff is, right? But this is, this is kind of cool. And so, yeah, I may take that log out, but uh, I'm just going to keep falling too. All right. Now this is... This is looking nice. So what I could do here is I could. So kind of like being part of this part of this uh, rock spire here. All right. I could said I could fill that in just so it is flush with the building, but I think that's going to look cool. So if I free cam out. Right, I'm going to have the one story over here, the two story house here with this hill kind of coming up and kind of leaning into it like the house is sort of built up and around it, which I mean it is. <laughs> so, I I think that's going to work out and that's going to work out well. Now, this is going to come up, let's see. I'm one block up from the floor. Right? So if the floor is Right, 
there. This is going to be to have the same height. It would be five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. So the walls are going to have to come up to here. Right, and then I can... Whatever the whatever I do with the roof, I might... I've got options here, but I don't know. I think I might give it a little bit of an A-frame with the spine running this way. So I've got window... I don't know, the, because the shape of this spine of the roof should come this way. I hate roofs. Roofing is my least favorite thing to do in Minecraft, so. Oh, this is in the wrong place. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're good. This is, we're fine. Everything's fine here. We're fine. I would, I, if I repeat that a lot, maybe I will believe it. Okay. Right, if that's going to be on the corner, <laughs> right, this is going to be here. All right. Nice. And I jumped just so that I would take extra damage, obviously, because that's important when you're playing hardcore is to take as much damage. Uh, <laughs> no. Got to remember, I'm in hardcore. I don't... Bad things happen when I get hurt, you know? If I die, the world is done. I can't come back to the world anymore. So, so yeah, let's maybe not do that. Okay, right, so we're going to have wall coming this way. And it'll be solid over here because, right, because we've got the hill that we're tapping into. All right, and what are, ooh, right, this is actually wrong. Right, because I've moved the wall because it's going to align with that. That's why it's wrong. Okay. Oh, everything makes sense. Does, does everything here make sense to somebody? That somebody may not be me, but why would I have to know what I'm doing? That's just... That's just silliness that the person building the building has some clue of what they're doing. Right? Okay. Nope, I, I think... Maybe I'm catching on here just a little bit. All right. Yeah. So that's going to be. All right. This will be cool. So I'll pull this back. That torch can come out. We'll uh, relocate it over here somewhere. All right. So the plan. We'll just use actual stone because it's. It'll look good. Okay. Okay. So the plan is to put elevators over here, right? So, okay, so so I'll have some sort of bubble vaders filling in over here. I'm just looking at this corner. I think what I might do is put the up and down at an angle from each other. Instead of, you know, you, you'll often see bubble vaders like where they're, One's here, and then you get a block, and then one's here. And that's fine. It works great. Um, I'm actually kind of thinking I might do this one at an angle. Where, like, the down is here, and the up is here. Something like that. That could be really cool. Having it at an angle is really nice, too, if you're doing something like... Um, a honey based, honey block based elevator, but I'm not going to be doing that in this one, so that's fine. Um, geez, raining again? I mean, yes, I'm in a meadow, but come on, man. <laughs> it's rained like every other day so far t today. Now, Part of me, the part of me that actually lives in a desert is happy to see rain, but it's really annoying here. <laughs> okay. Now, again, that the main point of this is storage. So put in the storage room here. Um, oh, right. Let's bring this up here this way. 
One, two, three, four, five. That's one more higher. The chests are here. So... Okay, so the stairs either... Because I don't want to see this the chest from this side. So... I could move the stairs, which is fine. I could even... If I were to angle this, right? If I were to come in this way, like that, I could slide the stairs over this way. Take this out. Right, because basically what I need here is our, right, I'm gonna have wall, not necessarily brick, but I'm gonna have some sort of wall here behind the chests. Oh, what I would love to do would be green terracotta. That would look really cool behind the chest, but I don't have a cactus farm yet. I know, it's it's still early game, but, you know, cactus farms are easy. I do have cactus. I know where to get some. But it would look really cool just back behind that, especially if I had some... Uh, verdant frog lights to tie into it but i don't have any of those either all right so if that's gonna go that way let's what i could do then is the stairs could come up here i could even make them three wide then if i wanted to right because of all the thingies and the thingies and the other thingies i can make them here Cause I mean I don't know. Heck, I could. I don't know. What do y'all think? Maybe, do we, maybe I could just widen this, have this almost be a rounded stair, perhaps. That would be a fun challenge that I don't know that I'm up to, but I don't know. Then again, so I'm gonna have wall coming in here, right? Right. That's that. Um. I might actually, because of because of reasons, I may want to slide these back a block. Right, I might want to just bring these back this way. I think that's going to make a little bit more sense, just with the... And I'm out. Okay. So I'm out! No, okay, no, I'm not. Right, because that could go there. Hum, hum. This is this is where the villager impression comes in. But if this is gonna go, yeah, I could just bring the whole staircase up here because this area doesn't need to be large, right? Because there's a whole lot of room that's gonna happen over there. So whatever is happening up here, you know, it's totally fine, right? Everything could be awesome up this way. That's the. That's the theory. Of course, I just took... There was a reason I had that open. Alright, so, anyway. Floor and ceiling stuff we'll deal with in a bit. Okay. No, this is gonna be... This is gonna be great. It's gonna, it's gonna require huge amounts of wood, but... I think this is going to be really, really awesome once it's once it's done. Because um, let's free cam up. It's got a it's got a cool shape to it, right? And so I was thinking of squaring that off and putting like a patio, or something out there. But having this little angle out here could be fun, and I might even con I could continue it up with just something as part of this. Ooh, 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 right. This is, okay, so this is a wall of storage, right? This, I can't put windows here. And I, there isn't really anything to look at over here anyway. This is just going to be solid wall o chests. So what if I, 
I want big view coming out this way. I'm not really looking out here. Maybe making this glass. That would be cool. Right, instead of the stone brick like I've got now. If I make this glass, so you can kind of look out. You can see this building and stuff. But maybe what I could do is... I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to play with it. But I think that it kind of feels like there's something I could do with that. And make that kind of fun. And there is room. There's room over here. So I've got these chests. This isn't permanent. This is just sort of a layout. If I wanted to move the chests, I've got a couple more blocks that I could wiggle them out here. So if I wanted to put in like fake windows, which are really cool, right? You take, you take honey blocks with like light behind them uh, and they can become sort of a fake window. So from the outside, it looks like there's a window, but from the inside, right? You can't see anything. That, I mean, it's going to take a couple of blocks to do it. Right, because you've got the, you have to have the honey and you have to have the light source behind it. That might be really cool. That might be really cool. All right, yeah, it's at this side. It's all inside the hill and under that anyway, so nobody's gonna care. And then I'm gonna have big. I might even open up like a bay window out here or something too, but. I don't know. It'll be something to play with here as I work through this. Getting the roof shape to work is going to be really funky. Hey, Pug. Welcome, welcome. I hope your day's going well. All right. Yeah, so I think this is going to be... That's going to be cool. So I'm going to have to get honey. Honey farm isn't built yet. <laughs> no, it's okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. No, yeah, we're totally fine. But yeah, this will work. This will this will totally work. So we'll come out and have have a little glass there. <laughs> Can you have some honey? That would be nice. Okay. Cool. So that'll. That'll work, and then I'll just open this up. And we'll make stairs happen to get up to whatever the floor is up here, and then the exit, the entrance and exit from the second floor up to whatever else is happening up here. Okay, cool. So, great. Okay, fell down the stairs. All the stairs and all the falling. Um, sweet. So the floor. Let's go get some. Let's go get some bamboo. And I want to see if the if if I can do some some fun things with the bamboo floor, because it is very yellow, which. In all honesty, might be a little bit too bright to go with the, the spruce and the logs. Or the spruce and the stone brick. But. And this. In case you were wondering why I need a storage system. Um, some sort of organized storage. This is it. Because I am so bad. Oh, those are bamboo. Okay, cool. I'm so bad at being organized. We'll sleep here. That's that's fine. Okay, we can figure it out. Yes, we can. We're totally okay with this, right? Sure we are. Alright, so... <laughs> B-movie. Yeah. Elmo, kinda. Honestly, that... 
that voice was, was mostly inspired by Smeagol, but apparently it's also Stitch from <laughs> Lilo and Stitch. I don't know. Ohana, Ohana means family. And family means no one gets left behind. All right, so, right. I was going to birch it up here. Um, right, or birch, bamboo it. It's gonna bamboo it up. Yeah. Ohana means family. I've only seen Lilo and Stitch like once. I had to go see it eventually because um, everyone kept telling me, oh, it's Stitch Voice, Stitch Voice. It's like, Stitch, it's Smeagol from, you know, Gollum from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, nobody believed me, so. It's also Jar Jar Binks on occasion. Yeah. Ah! He's a bomb pal. You know, that type of thing. All right, so. I don't know. Let's uh, let's bring some of it down here, just because it's. I've got the spruce and I've got the stone right here, so this will be an easy place to. Okay, so that to. Just sort of see, and it's maybe it's a little too much, but I think it can work. I really do. I'm gonna need a little bit of something to help ease the texture but I think that's gonna work <laughs> yes the precious those nasty habits and stores it from us yep I love Lord of the Rings it's my favorite book you know that whole series man all right so right that's gonna go up this way I might do a different, do a little, a different material for the stairs. I don't know if I want to actually do bamboo stairs. But I think the, the color is going to be fine. I don't think there's going to be an issue here. Um, let's get a little bit more bamboo. And we'll, a few more slabs here. So, the, Again, you've got some weird color contrast because of the chests. So, come on. That's right. All the stone can come out. Yes, it can. Alright. But I don't think it's going to be too bad, right? I don't think the chests are going to clash with it, really. And I could even do a, a different something around the edge. Um... Uh, Oops, that's wrong. <laughs> Get it together, man. Okay, right. I think that's I think that's gonna be okay. Said so I kind of said feel like I would want a different color for the stairs, but the I could take the bamboo that way too, so. I guess we'll see, but in all honesty, maybe what I want to do here is slab this, right? If I want to, if I bring this this up this way, oops, and make it a sort of a shallow staircase, right? I could bring it in kind of like that. Right, and then, oh. hang on, dirt's in the way. Dirt's in the way. We must move the dirt. And, you know, maybe put the blocks in the right place too, but that's sort of a secondary consideration, right? What, when, does, when does a build ever need to have the blocks in the right place, right? Okay, yeah, this, it might, is this going to be too much? That's a definite maybe. There, there's a definite maybe happening here, y'all. That was that was sort of dumb. Okay. 
Wow, that that's gonna be a heck of a steep stair or a long staircase coming this way. Huh. Cause coming in this way is not too bad, but that pushes way the heck out here. That's gonna be too That's too much. That's just going too far. So let's Let's maybe have the stairs start a little bit sooner. Take this out. Okay, so if I have the stairs start here, okay? Okay, and then I can bring them this way. That's all right. That's not, but uh, it was a good try. All right, so this is going to slide right around here. Okay, something like this. Okay, I don't know. That might be a little bit. Yeah, maybe maybe that's okay. And then. No, I want to bring this up a little bit more. Ugh. Okay. I can... Things things may get figured out today. Well, we'll see. Okay, so that'll come up this way. And what I could do... Uh, is put those blocks in the wrong place. Okay. So, I have skills. One of my skills is putting blocks in the wrong place. Okay. So, I kind of like the idea of then... Bringing this up here like this. Okay. That goes there like that. This goes like that. And. All right. And this goes here and there. All right. It's still a little bit of a longer walk up. But, and in all honesty, I don't like the bamboo. Uh, it just, it, it, the bamboo is wrong for those stairs. I don't mind it for the floor, but the stairs is just a little crazy, but it's just, it's just too much. Um, and I think, let's take that one out and that one out. Okay. But that brings the staircase up and around that way. Okay, I like the idea. I said I don't like the blocks. I, the bamboo is the wrong block here, but... I also think I want to put that kind of like that. Okay. Huh. Alright. Not... Not too bad. I said the the shape of the staircase is okay, but the I don't like the the blocks. I I don't know what to replace the blocks with, but it should be something, right? But as the cup says, that's a problem for future me. So we'll uh, <laughs> we'll worry about that later. All right, so what we'll do then is, right, so this comes up, right, because the floor is there, so one, two, three, four, five. So this is the outside of the this building here, right? This is the, the top. All right. All in all, I think this is going to, work or something. Somehow this is going to be fine. I don't know how, but somehow we'll, I'll make this work. Doesn't mean it's going to look good. It just means it's going to be there. <laughs> All right. Cool. What's my... Oh, light's bad. Got scary walls. Uh, torches. Okay. All right, so that'll, 
that'll take care of that there nicely. All right. And that'll all fill in and I might do kind of feels like a, there could be something cool there, but for now, let's not worry about it. Um, all right. So, so let's take stock for a minute. Good. Gonna have storage here, which obviously I need to, uh, refill or I need to fill in and stuff, but I'm gonna have storage there. I'm gonna have another room here with storage this way. I'm gonna have big views looking out here, a patio looking out here. Again, that's future Elytra entrance. If I head out to the village or something like that. Um, and then a big view here. I'm just, those are just there mostly so that I can get up that way. Um, okay. Yeah, I think this is, I think good things are going to happen here. Um, all right, so what's this Y level here? Uh, 122. All right, cool. So we'll pop up here. For those wondering, you know, I've got mini HUD up in the corner so I can see what the the Y levels of everything are and location. And, and you can see how long I've been in this hardcore world. It's been 251 days. So that's a thing, I suppose. Ow. All right. Let's hear it for Feather Falling Boots. Okay. So that's going to be that. And then this wall is going to be up this way. So, again, I may, I'll probably move those boxes. So, one two, three, four, five. This is going to be up here. Okay. It's just, uh, yeah, again, the building's going to go through its, uh, awkward phase, but that is just fine. Okay. However, the awkward phase often includes uh, weird growths, and that's less fine than one might hope. I, I I think that awkward growths would be something we may want to avoid here, just just in general. Um, but you know, we'll see. Come on, why are you not going? Okay, that's fine. It's fine. All right, yeah, once the skeleton is in, it'll be a little bit easier but a little bit easier to see kind of where some of the rest of this is going. Um, and oh, hang on. I've got something in my eye. That's not good. Hmm. A little bit of sand or something. So I, I live in a very dry area, and when it gets windy, like it was this afternoon, there's just grit and nastiness blowing all over the place. Okay, so that's going to sort of go that way. Awesome. Now this is going to come up to here, but obviously this staircase is going to come in. I've got... This will have to angle up somehow. I don't know how, but I kind of like a little bit of a, I said, glass wall looking out, looking out towards the flower forest and I said, whatever that building ends up looking like, the honey and chicken farm. All right, let's, let's see now. Do I still have, yeah, I still have some blocks. Cool. And, all right, I still have some spruce. Even better. All right. So, this will come out this way. And, again, the the frame is just awkward. And also, probably over here. Because I'm, I want the walls to be inset from those logs. Right? It's not a... 
it's not an uncommon design in Minecraft, but it's, uh, it can look really cool if you do it right, which is always an interesting question. Can I build this right? And, you know, I'm not, I'm not B00, I'm not Gemini Tay, I'm not Pearlescent Moon. Um, you know, it's, I don't have that, ouch, I don't have that inbred uh, artistic ability that they, that they seem to have, but that's okay. I don't have to be them. I just, all I need to do is build what I enjoy. And even if it doesn't look perfect, that's fine because I built it and I'm, and it's my creation and it's, it's not theirs, it's mine. And so it can be whatever I want it to be and it can, it can be great, it can be amazing, it can be lousy. But it's mine and I had fun building it and that's what's important. Okay, so this is going to come this way. Let's go ahead and build this out like this. Yeah, the multi-level roofing is going to be fun. Um, and said, so I think I'm just going to go with a pretty traditional A-frame for the roof. Nothing too, uh, nothing too wacky or bizarre here. That was just... Oh yeah, if I connect that hill up a little bit more, that's going to look really cool. <laughs> I, I, I'm liking that. That's going to be fun. All right. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lauren. So, yeah, that's going to... That is going to do it. Because, you know, it's... I've seen people get discouraged, right? They'll watch, like, some of the hermits... You know, like, like some of those people I just mentioned, you know, and they'll sit there's like, I can never build like them. So, yeah, maybe not, but you don't have to. <laughs> Did you have fun building it? Then that's all it needs, you know? All right, let's see what I can do here. I just need to get, oops. Uh, where's my axe? There's my axe. You know, I, I could certainly get inspiration from watching, uh, oops, that's too high. That's fine. Um, I certainly get inspiration from watching, uh, some of these really, really talented Minecrafters, but, you know, I'm not an artist. I never have been. So, I do like the creative side of Minecraft. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure about that log. We'll see. But, you know, I do have fun with it. So that's... Ooh, that's actually an interesting question. If I put the elevator down there... Hmm. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, right, and then it's the slab. Okay, cool. Um... And it said, I may replace those with logs, or with logs, with planks instead of slabs. It's going to take a heck of a lot more bamboo, but uh, it's okay. It's just fine. So, yeah, yeah, I think this is going to work. Um, all right, so... Okay, I've got most of the skeleton in place. There are a few places like the staircase here, which is just an awkward shape. I'm going to have to figure out a little bit more how that's going to integrate into the building. But let's free cam up for a minute. And yeah, you can kind of see the shape of this, this building. And this is going to look really cool. If I can figure out some, some fun stuff with this. This is actually going to be a really neat looking structure. Oh, man. Yeah, this is going to be fun to build. So, okay. I don't know what it's going to look like when it's done, but it's going to have a zillion and a half chests, and that's going to be awesome. 
Because, you know, storage. All right, I think what I want to do... Let's see, do I have enough... I don't think I have enough chests on me here. I'm going to have to... Or enough, um... Well, chest, but logs and stuff to get this all filled out. Oh, hey, I'm stuck. Stuck! That's fine. I'll, uh, unstick myself. Just get all of these in place. And, yep, I'm out. All right, well, back down to see... See if I have any more spruce. I can definitely go... Uh, oh. That's not good. Hey, um, could you, like, not be on fire? That would be awesome. Thank you. Um, Alright, uh, I don't have anything real special here, so let's just... Slap some stone brick to stop that. Occasionally, you know, I've got a lava wall there. It, it does occasionally want to be more than a wall. <laughs> yeah, let's just spread fire places, you know. It looks cool, but still, that's just... Uh, steak. That's my steak. All right. As long as it doesn't burn down my uh, stuff there, I'm, I'll be happy. <laughs> um, right, so let's see what I've got in the way of logs, and then I might have to raise my fuel for more bamboo, but... Oh, right, there's a zombie there. Scared me for a minute. I've got a... Zombie in a boat. And it's great, but... I have plans for it, actually, in the not-too-distant future, but... It's, uh... Once I... Oh, I've got so many things I need to do. I need to, um... I need to get some more blaze rods. Because I, I need to be able to craft up some... Potions... Of, splash potions of weakness. And I don't have a lot of golden apples. Oh. Okay, this guy is just stupid. Okay. He um, just walked into that fenced area. That's the killing drop area for the iron farm. And he just walked up there and he just lives there now. It's like, all right. I never thought iron golems were the smartest mobs in the game. But, you know, that was not the wisest move it could have made, you know? All right. Cool, so now I can just bring this right across here. Right. Okay, so that's gonna go, oops, not like that. Please to go the right way. All right, cool. All right, so this that's all gonna be under there, so I can do lots of whatever I want to do here. That's not going to be visible. Right, because I'm going to have stone or something. Right, that's going to come up this way. Yeah, man. We got this. We got this. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that'll go something like that. And... Right. Okay. Yeah, because that'll just keep the backs of those chests hidden. Oh. Hey, that's... Okay. Right, that'll... That'll just go like that. And I'll... Obviously, I'll end up spending a little time off camera, probably, to, uh... Just fill in this chest wall, but... I think between these two areas, heck, just between this area, just with this one right here, I may not need this. That, because that's a lot of chests. That's a lot of chests. Okay. Um, because this is not supposed to be my permanent storage room. Okay. 
what this is supposed to be is my semi-permanent storage room. This is the manually sorted, I need a place to put all of my junk storage room until I get around to building a sorting system, which will be actually down on the ground level a little bit. But that, that could be, heck, that's a heck of a lot of chests. Okay, you know what? I think I'm digging that, because then what I could do, if I wanted to, is I could just leave this whole area open. I could do actual windows over here, and what would I, I don't know what I would put here. Maybe this is, maybe this is bedroom and other stuff, but, you know, because this will be open for windows and things. And despite the fact that it's, I've got a lot of, of brick happening here, I am going to tear out some windows here too. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I've been looking at this these chests as I've been filling this in. And this is a lot of storage. For something that's not going to be my permanent storage room, I think... I think this set of chests is going to be more than enough. And I'm not going to worry about storage over here, at least for now. If I decide I need to expand, I can. But I think this is going to be great. I just need to get enough uh, chests to finish filling it in. Oh, that did not go. Okay. Got this eventually. Ooh, that is a lot of chests. Okay, um... Alright, let's go see if I have any more logs, otherwise I may have to take a uh, brief trip to the log farm over there. If anyone was watching the stream the other day or caught the video where I... which uh, went up on Monday where I built this little... Uh, my super smelter. Okay, super smelter. It only has eight furnaces to it, but still. Um, I added some beds here. It just looks cool. <laughs> Since I'm using the slabs for the floor, it's just, uh, it, it gives a, a fun little look with the beds there in between the barrels. Okay, anyway. I was just thinking about that because I threw two stacks of logs into that furnace so that I can get some charcoal. Okay, that's, again, organization. Um, I've got some cherry, but I don't know that I want to use the cherry to craft up log or ch chaff, uh, craft up chests. The bamboo, that's why I'm growing bamboo, but since I'm going to use it for the floor, that would probably be bad. Organization is a thing I should do. I didn't do, so... Not be organized. Alright. Time to go chop some trees, I guess. Which is fine. I... Can definitely chop trees. I'm good at this. Tree chopping is fun. Also, closing the inventory. Alright. Let's go see. You know? These jungle trees really grow. Um, oh, right. I The other one's over there. Yeah, I started growing them this way. It's like, wait a minute. I kind of want to send them over that way just a little bit. All right, this is going to work out great, I think. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping this is going to be enough wood. I'm, I really don't want to get spend too much time with the wood chopping. Ah, oh, this is where I'm missing create mod. That was my my last uh, series that I did. Actually, just ended it um, last week couple weeks ago. 
and I had fully automated wood production. Any wood, any time, fully automated, and it was amazing. And I'm kind of missing that right now. <laughs> For those of you who are have never been it gotten into modded Minecraft, which I totally get, um, create mod is a really nice gateway drug. <laughs> um, it, it gives you some really powerful features, you know, for, for doing automation and things like that. But it does it in such a way that it doesn't it doesn't stop feeling like you're playing vanilla. And in a lot of ways, right? It doesn't completely change the vanilla mechanics, which I really like. I've played some other modded Minecraft of various types, and it's like, okay, yeah, that was great, but why can't I make an iron pickaxe? Oh, I have to jump through about a thousand other hoops? Yeah, no. No, not my jam. I have iron, I have sticks. Why can't I iron pickaxe? So, yeah, not my, uh, Tinker's Construct is not my favorite mod in the world. No. Uh oh! Whew. Okay, I'm alive! I'm alive! I fell off the tree and I'm alive! Let's, let's, um, I'm gonna go sleep while I'm, I'm still alive because I like being alive and, and... Whew. Okay! Okay, we've just survived a code brown. I'm going to need some new pants. Okay, no, we're good. We're good, we're good. Everything's fine. Let's, uh... Oh, yeah, let, let's hear it for the feather falling. Oh. Actually, I might have been able to survive that even without the feather falling. But that, uh, oh yeah, that, that scared me just a little bit. <laughs> ah, that's fine. Okay, the good news is this should give me enough wood, I think, to at least finish that one chest wall. And then beyond that, honestly, I could dig into the, I could put a basement, right? I could put a, a lower level that's, actually just inside that wall which would be perfect for um for extra storage so that that one story area that i was going to build there really isn't any reason for me to uh to put storage over there okay this looks like a creeper hole it might actually have been a creeper hole i or it could have been part of the natural terrain. I don't know, but I'm going to flatten it out just because it... I keep falling in it, and that's annoying. Okay. I would like... Oh, I've got four. Okay, I was going to say, I would like a, a few more saplings, but... We're good. It's, uh... I do want to light this area up just a bit more because, you know, it's dark and that's bad. It's bad for a number of reasons, but Creeper Farm is definitely one of them. And the Slime Farm and, and all of the other mob-related goodness and... Oh! This is exciting. Yeah, uh, very exciting. Okay. Huh. Well, uh, that's just... Peachy. All right, well, nice. We apparently have a cool little cave. Not going to do anything with it right now, but it exists, and that's uh, half the battle, I suppose. Let's get up here. All right. Yeah, things are definitely looking bright up here, which is awesome. Definitely have some dark spots over there, too. Okay, I, I'm going to place a torch, but I need to stop lighting up the world and go... <sighs> really? Really? 
I don't believe I asked for your... Uh, all right, let's go. Guess I'll plant this uh, other tree back over here somewhere. No, I didn't ask for those guys. I didn't need pillagers in my uh, in my world. No. Okay, that's fine. Uh, maybe these iron golems, which are really these iron golems, which are just hanging out and being silly, can. Uh, do something about them. Is cows all grown up? Yeah. Cow farms. They're uh, tasty. All right. Ooh. Yep. Creeper farm does work a little bit. And sadly, the uh, spider portion of it is not doing anything useful. And this is why I need bubble feeder. Yeah, I'm going to have to go get a bunch of... Right, the rain. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to get a bunch of kelp. That... No, I think it just caught it on the side. All right. I don't want that to happen again. Let's just take a quick jump over here. This should be fine. I'm just going to throw a couple of blocks here, just in case. Should not be an issue, but... You know, let's let's be a little bit paranoid. I don't need it to, to burn down my bamboo farm, you know? This is why decorating with lava is, you know, a little weird. I like it, but you got to be real careful with how you do it. <laughs> All right, so, cool. And that, will that be enough chests? 32 chests? It's gonna be close. All right. Yep, I'm gonna have to go out and do a little bit of exploring. I'd like to get some mangrove wood. Yeah, that was enough. Yeah, I'd like to get some mangrove wood and Probably a little bit of something else. I suppose it would be kind of nice to find a sniffer. I don't know why I want to find a sniffer. Because I don't really need all of the the sniffer eggs and stuff. but And the, the torch flowers and things that it, it uh, finds. But I mean, I could. But uh, plus they're just cute. Uh, let's, let's not be... Yeah, silly. The sniffers are, are really cute. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be... Oh, that's crazy amounts of storage there. Oh, then comes the hard part. How do I want to actually organize that, you know? Alright, so let's go see... The chests are in place. Um... Right, let's go see how much bamboo I have. I should have some. I know I've got a, a few stacks in the smelter that I can raid, but let's see what I've got here first. Oh, that's not too bad. It's not crazy, but it's not too bad. Hi. So yeah, bamboo. Once it's going, it's actually not a, is a pretty nice, just steady source of wood product. Yeah, I mean, you have to craft it into blocks and then the planks, but it's not a bad way of just getting some passive wood. And really, that's only like an eighth of the storage. The rest of it is, there's a free cam in here. It's going into the my smelter. And yeah, see, I've got you can see I've got lots and lots of bamboo sort of building up inside the smelter, which is awesome. So if I needed to, I could break in there and get it. Also, if you want your name on this wall, 
you can subscribe at ko-fi.com slash music for gaming and uh, get your name on the subscriber wall. Okay. So, yeah. And there's some, not only do you get your name on the wall, but I've got behind the scenes blog posts and uh, subscriber only channels in the Discord. So, all sorts of fun stuff that you can uh, check out if you're if you are minded to. All right. Cool. So I think what I want to do is I want to finish that floor up there first. And then I'll... Because getting this this floor in place will be really helpful for um, figuring out... You know, what, what else is going to happen with the decorations down here. Okay. Ah, Swift Snick Boots. Boy, there is an adventure I'm not looking forward to having, is uh, heading down into one of the uh, ancient cities. I know where there's some deep dark. I don't know if it's actually connected to a city, um, but while we were coming back from the desert the other day, we are coming back on stream and stumbled into a a village that had a it was right next to a cave that basically dropped all the way down to deep dark level which was cool um, but yeah I'm not looking forward to uh, getting in and dealing with the warden it's actually a lot easier if you have an elytra because you can just fly out of danger but lacking that you know, it's uh, it's a little bit tougher. Not impossible. You could, if you trigger the warden, if you've got some wool blocks, you, you pillar up about 20-something blocks, and the warden can't get to you. And you're out of the range of his sonic blast and that type of thing, so. Oh, good. Finally, I can sleep this rain away. But still, it's not as much fun as it sounds. On the other hand, I do like Skulk. Skulk blocks are, are really cool to build with. They make great ceilings. Because it gives you sort of that starry look. Um, which is just beautiful as, a, as an accent block or uh, any number of other types of things. Yeah, I'm going to... Let's just... Square this out. Okay. Oh, that's going to be wall. That's right. All right, so this is all going to come up this way. Now, again, I don't know what this is going to be yet, but I'm just going to block it off for now. Like I said, you get the, you get the template in place. And then you start coloring inside the lines, right? And that's the, that's where things get fun, I suppose. Also, we have to do something here with the way this, yeah, maybe not. Over here with the stairs, I'm gonna have to do something with the way this wall comes in, but. Just, just because it's gonna look a little funky. But I'm I'm digging it. We'll uh we'll get this going. Okay, so got ourselves some nice little floor action happening there. Okay, so that's going there. So let's take this out for a minute. I suppose what I could do is I could just continue this wall, right? This wall comes this way, so you don't fall down the stairs, and then the floor comes across here like this. Okay, that's that's fairly reasonable, I suppose. Something uh, something fun and exciting like that. All right. 
so yeah, I th looking at this. You know, we're gonna come over here, but look at this window. Well, I mean, it's a big wall with a hole in it, but it, if you use your imagination, that hole in the wall could be a window. Yeah, I mean, we've definitely got some, we'll have some space, and it would be nice to, I don't know, it would be nice to do something up here just to be able to, just to be able to have a good view of this. And it's it's going to be even nicer up here, so. Yeah, so, so kicking out some big bay windows or something would definitely be cool. And then, yeah, that's going to have to close up. And well, let's see, do I have some stone on me? I have a little bit of stone on me. But yeah, something over here. Just torch that up for a minute. And this is this is probably gonna go. Um Okay. Yeah, this is This is gonna be really, really interesting. It's gonna take a while. I may not be able to get this all finished. Um I'll I'll continue working on this in the next stream on Thursday. Uh but I, man, I'd like to get this all finished on Thursday, but that's just not going to happen. At least get the outside of the building done. But it's all right. That is just fine. Yeah, this this is going to need a little bit of something. But looking at it from here, it's going to look cool. I think it's going to it's going to be a fun little corner. And I need to get in and do some texturing and stuff too. Throw some regular stone in there with a the brick and, you know, that type of thing. But otherwise, yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be really cool. And I said, if I do need more storage, which again, it's a possibility. Then yeah, I could just, I could just dig down and, Add more staircase and stuff or whatever it is I want to do. And that'll be awesome. Oops. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and just take that out. So yeah, if I run this, so let's take these slabs out. All right, so if I make this a three by three area for the elevators. And then I could potentially take out this row right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there could be all sorts of fun stuff happening there. Sweet. So yeah, it's just gonna be a matter of figuring out where it's gonna be and, you know, going to get some kelp to uh, make building that bubble vader so much easier. Okay, right, and then this is blocked off by that. Okay. Cool, so stuff could happen here, even if it's just a painting or a bookshelf or something. Yeah, all right. No, this is going to be, oh, this is going to be so, so amazing when it's done. Okay, but... That, like so many things, is going to be a problem for future me. Because it is about time for me to call it a night. It's paused. Okay. Whew. All right. Yeah, that was that was all sorts of fun. I'm, I'm excited to see where this is going. Because, you know, I'm not the type of guy who builds in creative. I get bored, right? If I build in creative and then we'll have to rebuild it in uh, survival. Man, that just gets boring. So I just build it all in survival. So you get to see my whole thought process and it's a little slow, but it's 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 fun. I like that the design process. So I do want to uh point you out there over at my socials. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, um, Tumblr, right, at Music Free Gaming on all of those places. So be sure to uh check that action out. You can join the Discord. 
um, to talk about all sorts of things between the streams. And, of course, support me over on Ko-fi if you'd like. Um, again, you get all sorts of good behind-the-scenes um, stuff. So be sure to check that action out. And until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off.